White Fox Response TV continuation of the you know, exercise here at the uh, Virginian uh, City of Virginia, where the Morocco City Corporation have come to buttress the one of the G Gibson side. So, as you can see, the major of the so. So folks, from the TV, we're going to do full coverage. My name is G.K. Pizai. We are currently in the city of Virginia, where the Northern City Corporation have come to buttress the you know, exercise here. Uh, as you can see, a huge part of that has been placed here for the past month. Uh, the Northern City Corporation have come to this turn, help to the city of Virginia in terms of our as you can see now you have free flow of our of eagles motorcycles passing through this road but this morning earlier when we came the road was crushed up in terms of our, there was there was no means of passing through so, so you can come down and speak with them so, so we have the the city media uh, giving direction, instruction to So we're going to speak to the city media shortly right after. You want to come here? Hmm? Oh, this this is just because you want to come here? Yeah. Yeah. So what I would like you to do is to look for, identify the place first today that we can temporarily put all of the waste. Because if you tell people don't put the waste here, if we don't fix, identify a place for them to put the waste, we will put the waste anywhere. So we, we're going to move this, but I want you to identify in the township one or two places that we can put a zinc fence around and we can say this is where all the waste will go. So at the end of the day, if the trucks have to do the waste, they can do the waste on a particular location. You understand? Know then we will we'll work with the team so that the guy is sick. We can talk to one of these small companies that can go from door to door to collect waste for a piece. You can sit down and look at what people can pay to support moving the waste to that location for the trucks to see. Because, you know, like in Moroya, all the audience, all the homes are supposed to pay for waste, and we are about to enforce that. We should start enforcing that we're working on the ground one day. So you have the mayor of Morovia as he has found in the uh, conversation with the city of Virginia. Don't make it on the road. There's something inside, but we don't want to jump out on the side of the road. 
even all Moria, even the one of Singapore Bridge, I'm trying to close it down. We have some of the Tonga Town, we close it. You know, we have some of the Mosus Park, we close it. We have some of the Woma Bridge, we close Woma Bridge now as well. You know what I mean? We don't want Dumpar on the side of the red on the main road. It's a lot of work to take down. Even the one on the front street, we close it down. We come to close Central Street and we come and open the transfer station. So what I want you to do is to find someone off the road, you know, someone inside, and then, then we can put some same things around it with a gate, and we can say yes. We say, okay, from 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening, bring your day here. Then at the end of the day, before you fold the truck, we take it off, and then we can work on all the rest. So why we move this, that's why I work for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you want to bring this kid down, right? Yeah, we want to bring this kid down. Kid down. Okay. We don't want nothing on the side of the main road. Okay. We don't want to put dump pass on the side of the main road. Yeah, we don't want dump pass on the side of the main road. Okay. Yeah. 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 We don't want no community waste center. We don't want no dump pass on the side of the main road. All the dump pass on the side of the road, we're trying to move. We need community waste centers. And we got to work also with EPA to come and check whether the location is okay. We got partners that we need to work with. So an EP is a lead partner. So when you get a spot, we'll get them, we'll get what we call our social safeguard people to come and check whether it's healthy and all that kind of stuff. You know, but in the meanwhile, staff giving us two or three places as options. And let's do it quick. So that when we move this one, then we can start looking around. Okay, I got somewhere there, sit it down. Okay. We're gonna shake you there so we can see the place. Okay, so that's yeah, the place I was trying to okay, So you mean the one to the bridge? Yes. Okay, but it's good. Okay, but inside, but inside. It, it's good, but you need more than one because you know it's part of the township branch. Mm -hmm. So look for another one because from here to see Port Bridge, a good distance. Then you can put one inside. So two will not be bad. Listen, James. You get your own. Get your room, Flores. And we'll send it. Listen, Commissioner, we'll send, we'll call. We got a waste facility manager and our social safeguard. We'll call them. They will come to us. My first is from TV for coverage here at the city of Virginia and for the Obviously, the corporation have come. You see the waste, we're trying to put a new program in all the waste. Uh, you know, we're at that place. They got the community to the call waste pickers. We wanted to go in there, take the plastic the bottle, the take everything, put it on side. So when the truck comes, the truck will just take the ordinary waste. We got no plastics also. There are people in town so that buy no the plastics for recycling. A job for other people. So we try to create that in the communities. We try to look at piloting that. So get a good space that we put it in. You know, we get the people in drawers and tell them to go. They can do manual sorting until we can get machines to come in. We try okay. to pass Right, so I will send the people to come to you so that it is here we can so start for the conversation. Right. 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 Okay, well, welcome to Spoon TV, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor. Mm. Here, uh, thank you. I came this morning and I saw a huge dead pile and all of the things, but how did they came about? The garbage? The garbage this morning. How do I know? <laughs> We had a whole exercise talking about coming to buttress the uh, oh, city well, of Virginia. Well, the, the commissioner, the honorable commissioner here, and I, um, I've had a meeting with a number of township commissioners, and uh, the, including the governor of the borough of, of Newquetown. We had a meeting at City Hall, yes, right? Yes. And I invited them, and I said we should all work together, you know. And so the idea of working together is to be able to buttress each other where there is need. The city of Moria has jurisdiction on a certain area. A lot of people don't understand that. You know, eh? there are other areas. So we try to cooperate. Even though when something happens, everybody say MCC. Anywhere, quarter MCC. The other place MCC. Traditionally, it's been like that, but we got jurisdiction, so we try to respect one another. So she asked us to come and assist in her township, you know, and so we are here to support our township in getting this clean. So it's a continuous process in other district, out of uh, township, uh, just founded uh, Virginia. Is this going to be extended to other township of other uh, district? Well, as you know, the MCC is currently cleaning many other townships. We are actively with the governor of Newquetown. In fact, last week we made a donation of tools and tricycle to the township of Newquetown. All of that to support the whole idea of empowering local communities for waste management. We are also actively along with the other commissioners of other townships like Brownersville, Conga Town, Gawalong. We've been discussing because 
it has been a very normal thing that MCC, everybody know, when I ask you where Moria start right now, where you will tell me? <laughs> you tell me say Moria start from where? I would take some stuff from somewhere that around the Dwala Inn and so forth. Exactly. But you don't even know that Dwala has a governor, right? So everybody knows, everybody expects MCC to clean here, MCC to clean there. But we've been trying to fix the relationship because there are MOUs that we need to consummate, you know, that we met that allows us to work in all these areas to collect revenue, all the rest. So there have been discussions going on to get these things going. You know what I'm saying? So we are actively discussing that, you know, as government, uh, local government officials. To be so right now, MCC, we go in Congo Town, we pick the waste. We, the other day, we went to Banaje Junction, there was a huge pile of waste there. You all know, we went there, we cleared the waste out. Every day, every night, we're cleaning all through Gaolon, all through, uh, uh, what you call the place name? Uh, Nuku Town, and New all over. Georgia. You know what I mean? In addition to going all the ministries and all that stuff. So, um, it, is, it is part of what MCC will continue to do as we all try to with all this inter-relationship with all of the, 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 the townships and what have you. So what is MCC relationship in terms of our implementation to other uh, governors around the country? Well, we can only do so much and no more. You know, there are challenges with resources. MCC itself um, has its own challenges with logistics. You know what I mean? And we are working on it actively. You know what I mean? We, we're in a not too distant future. We are also putting strategies in things will get a lot better. But for now, we work within the greater Moravia area. We work along with my counterpart, Mayor Robert Bestman from Pinesville and myself. We work with the townships around us. While I'm focusing on the townships of Gawala and, and Conga Town and you know and all the rest, he also is working with, with Johnsonville, you know, and what have you. So we can only do as much. Now today we've crossed the bridge and come to Virginia. Virginia because where there is a need, you know, we must come. We're dine, one government, dine, you know. Dine. So, and there's a dining, and it's not only here. We've also had conversation with the mayor of Broville that, you know, uh, so that's, that will also be. So, you know, we're, we just need the support, you know, and, and trust me, there's a lot that you don't cover, but you see this young man? This is the manager for our mass movement team. These people, these people work. Almost 18 hours a day. The fact that you don't see huge piles of waste, you see small, small scatter waste, like before. At any opportunity, I want to thank them and members of the team. Sure, they sure. really, really work day and sure. night. Sure, 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 sure. Day and night. So finally, so finally, before we leave you, what is your final message to other governors, other at our, our commission? A major in other counties or other districts. What's your final message to them in keeping the city clean? Well, it's not only to commissioners and mayors. Listen, we want to work together. The idea of waste management is everybody's business. And nobody can say that MCC is not cleaning. I challenge anybody. When we clean, they see Labyrinth people put the waste back. You think we're going to solve the problem doing that? You put the waste back and then you sit down, you get on Facebook, you write to you say, no, the mayor, the people are not doing well. The commission are not working. But we clean it today and you put the waste back. So we call it not only on officials, we call it on the Labyrinth people themselves. We put trash bins around the city. Right now we started putting trash bins because we say, oh, that hole is small. Because you know why? We put trash bins so people can put cigarette, quarter plastic, bottle inside. But they will take the big plastic bags from their home and put it around it. So we're even scared to put all the trash bin oil in single before we create small small dump out on the street. So it is not only about the, 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 the government, it's about the people. We want people to change their minds. We want to talk to people, put your waste in a black plastic bag. Even if you want to carry it, stop putting the scattered waste all on the floor. You know what I mean? We are coming up with regulations over the next two weeks for the CBEs and the SMEs because we're preparing for next year. Trust me, it will be a very different year. Our, our is coming up. It will be a very different year when it comes to country. enforcing waste mm -hmm. and all of that. We've been planning, we've been yeah. working on a lot, working most on the waste power. stations. We're not going to allow people to just bring waste, put it in the street, put it anywhere. We, we're developing a comprehensive system, and I'm happy to say that we are almost there. So we're calling on the public to please work with us. Let me tell you, see, MCC, according to the ordinance, our role is to clean the streets and the sidewalk. 
we'll have the CBEs and the companies go to every house, and every house must show us that you are subscribing with one company for your waste, or else we're taking you to the city court. And I want to use this opportunity to also call on the residents of Moravia to please paint. We have sent over a thousand, thousand notices to residents for painting. We're not going to run behind people. We have also sent out over 40 notations to people with all dilapidated buildings. Our engineers have worked and going there. We're not making noise all around, but we have done that. Those who are respond for those who are not respond, we're going to the city court. We've already had a meeting with the city court every Monday under the law is for to try those cases. The director of police here and the enforcement teams are working. We are taking those things. We have over a thousand citations. Y'all please paint your buildings in the city of Morovia. Every day we're going around, we're giving citations. Sometimes you come to the place, hey, we know the Uno. We know. We take the picture, we mark it. We send it to the city court. All right? We're working on that. Please, as the festive series is coming, the diaspora event is about to begin. Y'all please help us to keep the city in a shape that when the visitors come, we know our city ain't got much, but at least let it be, let it look a little bit, a little bit okay. We're also about to start cleaning that waterway around the bridge era. Hopefully by next week. There's a number of things. I visited the community of Slipway the last yeah. time. We visited the Raleigh Town, uh, the, the uh, Happy Corner community. Happy Corner community. We also went to West Point and had a meeting with the, with the commissioner. They are putting volunteers together. We will also start soon in the next week or so to start working on those areas. Additionally, um, we are very actively working on other sanitation projects in the city. And since I'm here, I'm, I will tell you, we have done assessment of public latrines. We are about to also start rolling public latrines. Right now to MCC, we got some samples. Our engineers have done assessment. For example, Slipway, there are nine public latrines, none working over the last six years. Mm -hmm. We are about to start engaging them. We also engage with the Commissioner of West Point. We have done the assessments. We are looking at that as well. And other communities, 20th Street, behind there, 16th Street, all the, most of the slum communities, we need your support. Whatever you can do to us, we'll be reaching out to other partners. Now that we finish all our technical drawings and all that kind of stuff, sanitation is a huge concern. It's not a quick fix because we need to fix things. We, for example, the toilet facility, this is our technical assistant. We're looking to get companies that will manage it. Many times when one person comes, you fix the toilet, you leave it with the community. After a, while, a few days, what happens? Yeah. It goes away. So we try to also talk to this community to see how they can relinquish the management. The father attend to some company that we can do partnership with MCC, with the community, and the people who we want to bring in to help support, to manage it. So these are some of the things that we are doing in the areas of sanitation. And we'll be keeping you uh, abreast over the coming days. Okay, so from Virginia, why is a nice from Virginia, why is a nice move? We in for Gina well, right now. Right now, so we from in here, yeah. still working in other areas of Moria. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Thank you yeah. so much. All right. That was the first of the yeah. New Year okay. of City. Welcome to Spoon TV, man. Thank you. So, Thank, you. Uh, Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, uh, tell us exactly, how's the, 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 the district? Oh, fine. The district is fine, except that there is challenge. Everybody can I'm so happy that I've come to Botres. I've come to help me because I didn't know how I could handle it. It takes so much to take the garbage. So, what are the challenges that you have been going through for the month? For the garbage. I would say garbage. So because you get out in the morning, somebody will call you. Uh, some people came last night and put cabbage right on the main road, right on the road, everywhere. So my main challenge is the cabbage. So uh, my question to you, why with me nothing? Why have you not been able to remove it, the garbage? Less because manpower it, or it takes money, equipment and all of that. You know, I don't have the trucks, the caterpillars. It's so expensive. I did it before. So after today, what approach or methodology you hope to deploy okay, to make sure that this is sustained? After today, mm -hmm. I'm going to 
go around. In fact, right here, I will spend most of my time here telling the people, after even today, let's manage our time. The MCC told us we went to a meeting. If we can talk to the people, to so just bring it across, we will take it. But the people said, we got means. We came back, plastic before they are tiny. So what mechanism have you been putting in place? What mechanism? I'm working with Syria so that we can remove the dye every time. It won't be like this. This dye has been here nine years. Nine years? Nine years. And today the Morris City Corporation have come to Butchers? Yes. So I want to say a big thank you to So what is the message to residents of this uh, district? Mm -hmm. of Virginia. Mm -hmm. The resident of this place is not, they are not ready to even listen to us. Let the mayor right there say, we go to people and tell them you need to put toilet about nobody told us before. Everything you tell them that they are just learning it today. We launch in the city all the name, but it's the end of this month. We got an ordinary now that every citizen of Virginia needs to go back. We need to pick our buses. We need to have a, a, a toilet in our pools. Were you, were you deployed many years to yeah, make people die? Yeah. You're going to deploy them? At every site? So your name finally before we leave you? Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you for the quality of my voice because we're here all night. Thank you so much. This is MCCT. So it is Spong TV, pretty full coverage here in the city of Virginia, where you have the uh, banjo, the major, the yeah. chauffeur, who have come with the team to buttress the criminal exercise here in the city of Virginia. So, what was on TV manager she keeps inside here in the city of Virginia, where the major have come um, to board press mission here in terms of uh, some clinical exercise. So, what can you so, Mara City Corporation have just paved the way that you have people flying through this road, you have a motorcycle flying through the road. But end of this morning when we came, there has been no vehicle flying through the road because the dirt has come off with yeah. <laughs> the occupied the entire space along the road. But for now you have Keke passing through, you have motorcycle passing through because the Mara City Corporation have cleared the way in terms of so as you can see, the road nice, well, uh... So wherever you are, if you judge one of this on TV, my name is G.K. Tinsai, we are here in the city of Virginia, where the Morris City Corporation have come to buttress uh, this city in terms of uh, you know, exercise. Out of this morning when we came, uh, the road was so jammed with dirt. The garbage occupies the entire road where he couldn't have access to pass. But for now, uh, the MCC have done a stream of the world where he have so the Barrage City Corporation have uh, been uh, exercise this morning here in the city of Virginia, District 17 to be precise.
So the main hustle is clean campaign. It's not just the Morocco Corporation, but everybody got to get involved in a rural locality or district uh, to get the cities work clean. So we have so we have the so it's on TV the new cool pack here in the city of Virginia where the horror city corporation have come to watch us this district intense of cleaning the exercise as you can see the dirt the huge garbage have been parted for years for years now but luckily the There you have it. There you have it. Norway City Corporation have come to purchase. Have come to purchase the clear exercise this morning. And according to the commission, she said the dirt has been here for the past years. So thank you for watching Spoon TV. We're trying to make our way to another site which is very important to the details, full details of what is happening around the country, around the city, in terms of things that exercise by the uh, Morocco City Corporation, uh, the healthy home, the healthy life, the healthy community, a decent community. So we're gonna wind down the curtain on this note and present you more updates, more happenings within this district. Okay. So we are here. I'm Gibson. So thank you all so much for watching Spoon TV. 